Hi, I'm Zach. I'm an international student studying in the UK for two years now, and staying away from home is one of a heck of an experience. As a person who is anxious, timid, introverted, and shy, I have a panic attack, anxiety episode. I get shortness of breath, I was headache and all this stuff, and I can't move myself, so tired. I'm worried about if you can make friends, uh, I'm worried about the financial stuff, worry about how you cope with the studies and stuff like that, the weather. It's up, it's always down. I'm no. able to overcome all the struggles and graduate from the UK. So the first thing I would like to share about is the during the first year, the best part is that you meet a lot of different people, maybe some introvert people like me. I don't really like to meet that many people, but it's just very interesting that you meet so many people from different backgrounds, different worlds come together. So I met all these people through socials, other gatherings, night outs, uh, as also flatmates. You you just see friends of friends and come coming together and everyone. It's just very wholesome, I would say. So being here in a year time, it definitely goes through all these different um, festival celebration gatherings like New Year countdown, and Christmas is a big thing here as well. So it's like we all just come together and celebrate, cook potluck, movie night and stuff like that. It's something that I look forward to and it just makes everything better. So tips for you to meet some new friends, people that definitely worry about how to make friends. It's like international people tend to attract international people. So you just go there, go to someone, and the first thing you can ask is like, where are you from? If you, are, if, you, if you feel like they are from international as well. And then starting from there, just share your experience on how you feel about this country and ask them how they feel about this country. Always ask what they feel. They'll feel like sharing and then you just started the competition. The first year as well, I picked up a lot of hobbies and also their cultures. They have this bouldering thing that is very famous in Sheffield, that's where I'm from, where I'm studying. So it's it's a very big sport and a very famous sport, especially and as well as famous around the UK. So something that we just go and try and then just fall in love with it. At first it's just a sport that go for entertainment, go with friends just for fun. But now it's like I train for it, it's like part of my routine, I just go there. And because there is so, it's so famous, there's so many people that has the same interests over there, it's so easy to talk around in the gym while you're resting. I just look forward to it. and I'm sure that there are some other hobbies that you are interested, you can find someone like-minded as well over there. Because of all these new experiences and hobbies, it just makes it so much meaningful that I can look back even now, I just feel like it was such a blessing to be able to be here and to learn new stuff, to explore my interests. Other than that, traveling is something that everyone looks forward to, isn't it? In the UK, like the train system, the bus system, transport is very convenient for you to get around in the UK. And because of that, I travel a lot. And it's just very eye-opening to see all these different stuff around the UK. And especially I like nature. There's Peak District, there's Lake District, there's Scotland Highlands, and all the stuff that you can just see how extraordinary other landscapes is and for me that likes to take photos these are the best place to go here comes the first place i visited during my first year over here paris i went there with a group of friends that i met once so that is like a whole heck of an experience but it is definitely worth it like something that you just I don't know, I always seek for new experiences and this type of stuff is something that I'll look forward to. I would like to go backpacking one day to just meet random people here and there. And during the Paris trip is one of the most memorable ones, although it started with some really bad anxiety and we didn't sleep much, but it's still like something that it's just some memories that can last forever. Get to see Eiffel Tower for the first time, get to go on the boat around the city for the first time. And my friend lost her airports and we go to the police station in France for the first time. The last point I want to say about highs is that this one of the most important one is about freedom and independence. A lot of my friends that I talk with, they just like to be international student or just living by themselves is this part of it. Be able to choose whatever you want to do, to go out whenever you want to, to and to meet 
whoever you want to meet. But this also comes with some responsibility. This is where you, you learn. You need to manage your time to finish coursework, to go out with friends, to take out some responsibility or some promises that you have with some friends or people. You also need money. So some people just need to work part time. So it's really hard to balance between this and which shows that there will be some lows that I'll explain later. But from this positive perspective to see this is like, I love it so much that you get to know yourself a lot more. You'd be surprised how much you can learn by staying on yourself, by going out there and do the things that you wanted to do. I can't believe that these two years in the UK changed me so much. When I go back last summer, my friends say that I'm a completely different person in a good way in a good way, definitely in a good way. So I'm so proud of that experience and I just can't imagine myself not coming to the UK and being the same person that I was before I came to the UK. Well, I'm gonna take this chance to thank my parents about that, for sending me here. Okay, so for all the highs that I mentioned just now, it's just there's so many stuff happening and because of that, I wanted it all and I don't have to manage that time which causes me to burn out and overwhelm and this leads to the, one of the first lows that I have in the UK During the first year, there was um, so many things happening studies, placements It's like a full-time job and there's so many stuff that I wanted to do after that Without the energy I have, I push through it and it just makes things worse I have a panic attack, anxiety episode which is like I went pretty low at that time, I can't redo really anything, I don't want to leave my, my room but I came back slowly, I understand myself what is happening and I learned from it so it takes some time to recover don't rush this kind of stuff but because of that I just know that I, I need to prioritize what I have to do I'm able to manage it every time better and better and with all these lows you kind of learn, you kind of grow from it this, which is lead to one of the high that I mentioned just now, be able to be independent and learn from it and just change myself to become a better person. Ooh, I can't imagine that time was pretty bad. One of the things that get me through is this quote saying that every high, there's lows. No, it doesn't work like that. I mean, it works like that, but it doesn't sound like that. Uh, when there's ups, there's always down. No. There's always ups and downs, just keep it that way there. And one last thing I want to share about Lowe's is that there's also another experience of mine is that I got COVID at 10 classes. I need to uh, stay at home, quarantine and find a way to get food. All this responsibility, it's, it's easy but the hardest bit is like I get shortness of breath, I was headache and all this stuff and I can't move myself, so tired, I can't think properly but thank goodness there's friend help me with the food and I just want someone to bring everything to me but it's not possible because they have their own responsibility, they have their own life, you kind of do bring yourself together just one step at a time, get food, eat, get take care of yourself while you're like in that condition. At the same time, once again, you learn through all this experience to get better at it you know how to manage yourself in this kind of situation because one day you have to do it I kind of survived at this point you kind of know that I survived university I graduated and I never regretted coming to the UK never regretted being an international student and definitely never regret going through all these lows to achieve all the highs that I wanted I like to, at the end of this video, I like to say take some risks in life and all this that I stated is my experience in the UK hopefully it's helpful so yeah, see you next time then <laughs>